Hello everyone, welcome to Math Cognizant. This video reviews how to solve one step equations. Before that, you should know what do you mean by equations. Equations are the mathematical statements in which two expressions are set equal to each other. In simple words, equation means equality, that is the equal sign. That's what equations are all about, equating one quantity with another. Equations are like balance scale, where it shows that two quantities are equal. What you do to one side of the equation must also be done to the other side to keep it balanced. Like we are removing three bananas from the left side, that means we need to remove three bananas from the right side also. Only then it will be balanced. Equation always contains um, a variable, constant, operators and an equal sign. So to solve any equation, uh, one step equation, always ask three questions. The first one is what is a variable? Variable is any alphabet whose values need to be found in an equation. Now the second question is what operation is performed on the variable? Is it addition? subtraction multiplication or division any of these operators will be present in an equation and the third question is what is the inverse operation inverse operation in a given equation if addition is given the inverse operation is subtraction in the same way if subtraction is given you should do the opposite operation that's addition and inverse operation of multiplication is division and uh, inverse operation of division is multiplication. Let's solve this question. It's an addition equation where it's been given as x plus 8 equals to 16. What's the variable? That is x. And what's the operation being uh, present here? It is a addition. And what is the inverse operation of addition? That is subtraction. So using the subtraction property of equality, Let's subtract um, the constant which is present with the variable on both the side of the equation. Therefore, in this equation, 8 is constant which has an operator of addition. So, we need to do the inverse of it. We need to subtract 8 from both the side of the equation. When we subtract 8, side it's left with x and on right hand side, 16 minus 8 gives us 8. Let's do checking verification of this uh, solution. Let's write the question equation as it is. x plus 8 equals to 16. In place of x, substitute the value as 8. 8 plus 8 equals to 16. When you add 8 plus 8 on left hand side, you will get a 16 equals to the right hand side 16. So the solution what you have found is right. Let's, let's solve two questions of addition equation. So the first question we have z plus 9 equals to 3. So there is addition operator. We need to do the inverse of it. That is subtraction. The subtraction property of equality tells us to subtract the same number on both the side to keep it equal so let's subtract 9 from both the side on left hand side 9 minus 9 gets 0 so z is left z equals to 3 minus 9 that's equals to negative 6 you should be very careful with the integer subtraction since there are two different signs addition and subtraction positive and negative sign you need to subtract and put the greater number sign Let's do the checking of it. Let's write down the equation as it is. z plus 9 equals to 3. In place of z, let's substitute the value as negative 6. Negative 6 plus 9 equals to 3. Negative 6 plus 9, you need to subtract and put the greater number sign. So, it's going to be 3. z equals to negative 6 is correct answer as both the sides are equal. Now, let's do the next question. It's again an addition equation where we need to subtract 4 from both the side of equal. So left hand side is left with y, 4 minus 4 is 0. y is equal to on the right hand side, We since both the sign are equal, we need to add and put the same sign. 
so y is equals to 16 and to check write down the equation as it is and in place of y substitute the value as 16 negative 16 plus 4 equals to negative 12 now we have two different signs here we need to subtract and put the greater number sign greater number is 16 and it has negative sign so 16 minus 4 gives you 12 with negative sign we have both the side of the equation equal so the solution y equals to negative 16 is right we have the subtraction equations here so we need to do the inverse of it inverse of subtraction is addition in the first question p minus 3 equals to negative 5 for, so we need to add positive 3 we need to add 3 on both the side of the equation positive 3 negative 3 get cancelled p is equals to we need to follow the integer addition and subtraction here we have two different signs so we subtract and put the greater number sign that is 5 minus 3 is equals to 2 to do the checking let's write down the equation as it is now substitute the value of p as negative 2 minus 3 equals to negative 5 when you have same sign you need to add so 2 plus 3 gives you 5 and put the sign as it is so both the side we have 5 the solution is to negative 2 is the correct answer so next question is also subtraction equation where we need to use the additive property of equality um, on both the side to keep the equation balanced or equal so in the first question we need to add 18 on both the side of the equal on the left hand side positive 18 negative 18 get cancelled so it's left with x is equals to 2 plus 18 that is equals to 20 to do the checking let's write down the equation as it is x minus 18 equals to 2 in place of x substitute the value that's equals to 20 minus 18 equals to 2 as it is in the equation 20 minus 18 equals to 2 and 2 is on both side of the equal so the equation with the solution x equals to 20 is right the third type is the um, multiplication equations in multiplication equation we need to do the inverse operation as division the division property of equality tells us to divide the same number on both the side of the equal so we have the first question as 3a equals to negative 18 so we need to eliminate that 3 from both the side uh, so let's use the inverse operation that's division let's divide both the side of the equation by 3 3 and divided by 3 that get cancelled so a equals to negative 18 divided by 3 is equals to negative 6 let's do the verification to do the verification let's write down the equation as it is 3a equals to negative 18 in place of a just write down the uh, solution of it the value of it as negative 6 3 times negative 6 equals to negative 18 3 times 6 equals to 18 since there is a negative sign negative multiplied by positive is equals to negative so on both side of equation you have negative 18 so the solution a equals to 6 is correct for second question we need to divide by negative 4 so it's left with n equals to 32 divided by 4 is 8 so n equals to positive 8 to do the verification let's write down the equation as it is negative 4 n equals to negative 32 in place of n write down 4 so 4 times 8 equals to negative 32 negative times positive is equals to negative 4 times 8 equals to 32 so negative 32 on both the side of equal that means the solution n equals to 8 is correct therefore we need to use division property in multiplication equations next uh, type is the division equations where we need to uh, do the opposite or inverse operation that is multiplication so in the first question we have b over 3 equals to 6 we need to multiply 3 on both the side of the equation 
so let's multiply 3 3 divided by 3 gives you 1 so on left hand side it's left with b equals to 6 times 3 is equals to 18 so do do the checking write down the equation as it is and substitute the value of b as 18 18 divided by 3 equals to 6 now 18 divided by 3 is 6 and on both the sides you have 6 that means it the value of b equals to 18 is the correct answer in question number 2 we have negative we need to multiply with negative 5 on both the side of the equal so multiply negative 5 on left hand side it get cancels with the denominator and on the right hand side it's going to be 5 times 2 that's equals to 10 and when you have same sign that gives you positive integer so negative 2 times negative 5 equals to positive 10 for the verification write down the equation as it is then substitute the value of x as 10 10 divided by 5 that's equals to negative 2 and here 10 divided by 5 is also 2 with a negative sign and both the sides are equal that means the value of x is right you need to be very careful when simplifying the integers use the proper sign and always follow the um, rules of inverse operation while solving the one step equations hope you understood this concept please like subscribe and press the bell button to get notified on our latest videos